This is News Trail, your daily dose. Welcome to News Trail this Thursday, 17th November 2022. I am Adetola Kayode. President Muhammadu Buhari says he will leave Nigeria a safer country when he exits in 2023. The president gave this assurance at the Emblem Appeal Lounge for the 2023 and Forces Remembrance Day celebration at the Council Chambers. He also announced a 10 million Naira donation towards the Appeal Fund, urging Nigerians and corporate organizations to support the country's veterans and the families of the fallen heroes whose past sacrifices have kept the country together. Buhari further commended the nation's armed forces for their efforts towards making the country a safer place for all citizens and visitors. In attendance at the lunch, and Vice President Professor Yemi Oshibaju, Senate President Hamid Lawan, ministers, security chiefs, senior government officials and dignitaries from all sectors. The presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar, says his party will form a government of national unity if and when voted into power, decrying what he described as the lopsided appointment of heads of security agencies by President Muhammadu Buhari, taking a swipe at the president for the appointment of heads of the country's 17 security agencies who are all northerners. Atiku says this is not a great example of unifying the country and he will not do that if he is president. He expresses his intention to continue with the economic policies of the PDP. He expressed his intention to continue with the economic policies the PDP embarked on between 1999 and 2007, which, according to him, liberalizing the economy and promoting the private sector to create jobs and wealth in simple, straightforward terms. The presidential candidate of the All Progressives Congress, APC, Bola Hametunubu, has met with the leadership of the Christian Association of Nigeria, Khan, in Abuja on Wednesday. The meeting is the second leg of the Khan presidential interaction session. Tinubu, who was accompanied by his wife, Oluremi, Speaker Femi Bajabia Mila, governors, federal lawmakers, and some chieftains of the party, told the Khan leadership that his decision to vie for the nation's top job is in line with the country's constitution as he allayed fears over his same faith ticket. Khan President at Bishop Daniel Oko says Khan's interest is for all presidential candidates to clearly understand the concerns of Nigerian Christians, propose policies and programs to address those concerns. Portugal striker Cristiano Ronaldo would be left out of World Cup warm-up friendly against Nigeria on Thursday. His coach Fernando Santos says he is suffering from a stomach bug. Ronaldo would give an explosive interview on Piers Morgan's show criticized Manchester United, saying he has no respect for coach Eric Ten Hag, who has not relied on him much this season. The 37-year-old Portuguese striker and five-time Ballon d'Or winner will not train on Wednesday because of the illness which started amidst the controversy caused by his interview. Coach Santa says Ronaldo's interview was not sanctioned by Portugal and will not be because it had nothing to do with the national team. And that's it on Newstrail for today. Many thanks for connecting. Please do not forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel Newstrail. And always remember to love your family, work super hard and live your passion. Have a fantastic day.